The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series enters its third and final leg of NASCAR Ghost West this weekend at Auto Club Speedway. For the second weekend in a row, Martin Truex Jr. won the pole, but Martin only has one top five finish at this racetrack, and that came last fall. Regardless, the 78 is fast week in and week out, and I expect more of the same in Fontana. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, you always want to be first, so um, it's a good day at the racetrack for us for sure, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to use that number one pit stall to our advantage on Sunday, and I believe it's my first pole here ever, so uh, definitely a good day, and looking forward to hopefully um, doing this again on Sunday. Kevin Harvick has one win at Auto Club Speedway, and that came back in 2011. But Happy Harvick has more on the line this weekend than just racking up another trophy. If Harvick were to win this weekend, it would be his fourth in a row, and Kevin would join a small list of drivers in NASCAR history to ever sweep four races. What about the Hendrick Motorsports cars? All four HMS rides didn't get to make a qualifying run due to inspection issues. Their highest starter is Alex Bowman, who rolls off 28th. Once the green flag falls Sunday, all four will have some ground to make up early if they want a shot to win. Now for the picks, Crew Chief Chris Rice is taking Kevin Harvick to win his fourth in a row, and I'm taking another California kid, Kyle Larson. Larson has won the last four races on two-mile racetracks, including this one last year. The 42, I think, makes its way to victory lane on Sunday. With your starting grid, I'm Jonathan Merriman.